So hello golfers, Jess Frank, coming to you for the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. I am a PGA teaching professional, been doing this for over 20 years. Love helping you guys play better golf. And today, I wanna to talk to you about the P system. I wanna go through P1 through P10. This is huge for anybody that wants to become more consistent, hit the ball straighter, hit it farther, lower their scores. The P system can really help you. And so that's what I use uh, to monitor all my students' progress, to see where they're at, to see where they're in in that uh, in the golf swing. Uh, P stands for position. Um, came from the golf machine and also wants to, and, and used, you know, used throughout the golf industry and a lot with stack and tilt. And so that's something that I find extremely helpful. That way um, you're on the same page with me and so let's just start with P1. So P1 is setup, okay? And why P1 is so important and so many people look past P1 is because they're like, okay, well, P1 is, you know, anybody can have the right setup, but it's not true because I see so many people come to me with setups with the handle back, the arm bent, bad grip, weight on the back foot. And so, you know, you have to start with the grip first in P1. We could probably just do a whole video on P1, but we're just going to go through it um, in a general sense. That way you can kind of start the, start the process. So P1, you want to have the, the golf club, if for, uh, obviously for right-handed golfer, in the left hand, that's your lead arm, you know, in the fingers, uh, underneath the heel pad with the grip. So you can see like this here, I've done grip videos in the past, but this is so, so important to do. Right hand from the side, okay? Now at address, you want about 70% of the weight on the left leg set up. And you can see here where this now, like I'm in a ready position here. I'm, I'm not um, sitting back with my arms bent and my weight back. So now the 70% of weight on my left leg handles a little forward off my inside of my left leg. You can see is that my left arm is pretty straight. Both elbows are pretty close together. Um, this is super important. So, so you guys can see that. Um, so that's face on. So here's down the line, P1. So feet, you know, just under shoulder width, inside of shoulder width. Okay. Handle forward, hips forward, weight forward. Um, also, you know, I use a lot of foot flare. Foot flare is super important at P1. P1, you want to have your toes turned out, call them duck feet, but turn the toes out, foot flare. Uh, you see it in all the great players, allows for the hips to turn properly, the body to move properly. Um, so many people point their toes in, uh, which restricts the, their knee movement, their ankle movement, and their, their body, their torso, then their pivot. Okay, so that's P1. Address, 70-30 on the front, handle forward. You can see my arms are not bent and broken down. The, the, the club is pretty much in the middle, middle of my stance here. Handles a little forward, club head's in the middle. I can feel the weight pretty much um, in the middle of my feet here, not way towards my toes or way towards my heels. So right here, P1. If people would just work at, work at P1 and just look at themselves in a mirror or use the phone like I'm using here to create the video, um, you know, it would really benefit them just right off the bat. Immediately, probably would see better ball striking. So P1, before you even uh, even take, a, take the swing back, is huge. So, uh, so that would be just kind of a, a broad stroke of P1. So P2, P2 as we get into our setup and everything. P2 is from what we're going to do is we're going to take the left arm, shoulder, and club and work it back to about where the club is parallel to the ground, okay? So that's P2 right here. So you can see that right here. So down the line, it's going to look like this here. P2 to here. So you can see a lot of people get into trouble from P1 to P2 because they spin the club back behind them. So P1 set up, P2, you can see it's still working on an arc. My hands are working on an arc. Club head's working on an arc. It's never straight back. A lot of people will take the club straight back. So on an arc here, 
So I look at it like this here. So I take it back with the shoulder arm. The knee flex starts to change as well from P1 to P2. So you can see the knees bent. P1 to P2. So super important. Arnold Palmer used to say that's the most important move that you can make, that first move off the ball from P1 to P2. So if people would just practice this, practice P1. Practice from P1 to P2. Do slow, slow motion. You don't have to rush. Slow. You can see the club face is not rolled open. The club is not way behind me. It's, um, as the club goes back, the, the club head is kind of in front of my hands right here. It's not way back. I see most people are told to twist, get the toe up, and that really messes them up right off the bat. So P1 to P2, okay? So P1 to P2, so let's go from P2 to P3. So we're gonna go from P1 to P2 to P3. So as we go back, the knees, we do it with the shoulder, left arm, club. We start to extend, tilt, and turn our body. Knees changing flex. As we go back, we're gonna add the hinge to it so you can see where the club is now. So I've got a pretty decent already extend, tilt, and turn. So pretty decent turn already. Hips have turned. But you can see where the head is right in the middle of my body here. I see a lot of people that move everything this way. So I'm extending, tilting, and turning to P3. Okay, do it down the line. Extending and tilting and turning to P3. Extending, tilting, and turning to P3. Club's in a great spot. Left arm's across the shoulders. Uh, club face in a great spot. Knees have changed flex. Hips have turned. We've moved our body in the right way. Extend, tilt, and turn. Okay. Now, I do a lot of, you know, I'll jump ahead a little bit, but I do a lot of swings with people from P3 to P8, and I'll show you P8 when we get there, but P3 to P8 swings are really effective in building a golf swing and helping people hit the ball better. I just gave a lesson the other day to a gentleman struggling with contact, P3, I didn't tell him it was P3 to P8, but that's what we were doing, P3 to P8, and sure enough, he started hitting high draws and hitting the ball at the center of the face. So it's super important, okay? So we're gonna go from P1 to P4. Okay, so P1 setup, P4 top of the back swing. We're gonna, we're gonna extend, tilt, and turn, 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 all the way to the top of the back swing. So you can see left arm across the shoulders, left knee flex, right knee straight. We've extended, tilted, and turned our body. I could stay here for a long time. Okay, P1 to P4 face on. Here we go, extend, tilt, and turn, extend, tilt, and turn, extend, tilt, and turn. There's our P4, okay? So P1 to P4. So if people do that, they look in a mirror, P1 to P4. They can get themselves in phenomenal positions here at the top, okay? Super, super important, P1 to P4. Okay, we're gonna go from P1 to P5. We're gonna go up, 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 P1, extend, tilt, and turn all the way up. Now the first thing, what's gonna happen is then the left knee starts to go out, the hands and arms start to go down. So you can see that. Okay. P1 to P4, P5. So you can see where that club's coming in from now. Really good angle here. So face on, P1 to P5. So you can see how that works there. You can see is that I'm not leaning back, I'm not trying to scoop under, I'm not trying to help the ball. Um, I'm creating a separation. What happens, you can see this face on. So at the top of my swing, my hands are near my right shoulder. And then what happens is that they start to separate from the right shoulder. A lot of people kind of pull the arms in a little bit too much or throw the hands. So you can see is that it separates. I still maintain this lag right here. So that's super important. P1 to P5. Let's go P1 to P6. P1 to P6. Club shaft behind there, the club head behind the hands. 
ready to tack the ball on the angle from the inside. Okay, P1 to P6. So you can see that right here, right elbow in front of the belly button, left arm still straight. We still have some hinge here. Okay, P1 to P7, that's through the impact. P1 to P7. Weight is definitely majority on my front leg. Handles forward, face is in a great spot. Eyes are, eyes are down. Phenomenal way to pit, to practice your swing. P1 to P7. On the way down, hands separate from the right shoulder. Weights forward, handles forward. You can see where my head is. Great position right here. P1 to C7. That's a great position to hold because so many people um, just, just have this P7 move that the arms come apart. Okay, so P1 to P8, set up to the top of the swing, just after impact. At this point, P8, the club head is as far away from the left shoulder as possible. I see so many people pull those arms in, struggle with contact. P1 to P8, now remember what I said about P3 to P8, so I do a lot of drills of P3 to P8. If you can hit the ball consistently from three to eight, you're doing really well, okay? So from P3 to P8, we're gonna go up to P9 now. P1 to P9, slow motion. A little hinge here, P9, okay? Down the line, P1 to P9. You can see the exit of the hands over the inside the left shoulder here. Club face is pretty square to the arc. I'm still tilted. I haven't st stood up or early extended. I'm moving the body on the arc on a circle, on a tilted circle, okay? Shoulders are moving in a circle. P1 to P10. Go from here, set up. B10, so I'm still tilted, okay? That's when the arms start to bend again, way up top, not down at the ball. People bend their elbows at the ball or even before the ball. They're bending elbows, that's why they struggle with contact. P1 to P10. Still tilted, still in my spine angle here. Club face, probably facing the camera, so I haven't rolled my hands over. I haven't swung way out. I'm working on an arc. So this is very, very important. I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple here. So I've done a lot of work and I'll tell you what, you do that, you practice P1 to P10 in that slow motion, it's a workout and you're going to feel it. So it's really good, but it's going to help you. So we're going to go full swing P1 to P10. Okay. Now, just doing that, I mean, I don't hit a lot of golf balls. Just doing that exercise helped me hit the ball really solid, okay? I'm gonna give you the P3 to P8 move, and I'll get a face on here in a second. So, P3 to P8, so it only goes back here, P3, P8. This is where most people should live their golf life. P3 to P8. Hit another one, P3 to P8. Left arm parallel to the ground, right arm parallel to the ground. If most people live their lives in P3 to P8 with all the 10 words, 10 fundamental words, people would be a lot better golfers. So let me tell you that right now. So let me move this over here. I know a lot of people like to have the face on for my swings. That looks pretty good. Let's do that. Okay, P1, again, P1 to P10, full swing after I just did those exercises. P1 to P10. Pretty good shot, a little bit of an overdraw. Let's do P1 to P10 again. 
I do a lot of rehearsals too. Not a bad thing for you to do. Wow. Just launched that really high. That was awesome. So P, let's do the P3 to P8. So you can, this is where most golfers should live if you don't, if you don't hit the ball very solid. Left arm parallel to the ground, right arm parallel to the ground. P3 to P8. Watch Tommy Fleetwood. He is excellent from P3 to P8. Let's do that again, P3 to P8. You're gonna hit the ball super solid doing that. So P1 to P10 explained. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, um, please subscribe, please turn on your notifications. I love helping you play better golf. Um, I know this P1 to P10, you know, spend time in each one, P1 to P2, you know, P, P1 to P3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Spend time in each one, look in a mirror. It's a good workout. <laughs> Trust me, it's, uh, it's not easy to do, but it's worth the time because you'll start to shape your swing and you'll start to hit really solid, ball, uh, solid contact, solid golf shots. So thanks again for watching. Again, really appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.